Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Okay, let's read the question together. There are a few integers n such that n squared plus n plus 1 divide n to the power 2013 plus 61. Okay, the question asks us to find the sum of the squares of those integers. Okay, now let's try to solve this number theory question together. So you need n to the power 2013 plus 61 to be divisible by n squared plus n plus 1. n squared plus n plus 1. Notice that that form is familiar. Right? Is If you take n cubed minus 1, that will be n minus 1 multiplied by n squared plus n plus 1. Okay, So that means that n squared plus n plus 1 divides n cubed minus 1 for any integer n. Okay? Keep that in mind. Also notice that n to the power of 2013 minus 1. 2013 is divisible by 3. Correct? So I can write n to the power of 3 to the power of divided by 3. That is 617 okay, minus 1. Notice that the power is odd. Right? As in, in fact, this doesn't even matter. n cubed to the power of 607. 71, not 17, sorry. 71. Okay. This, in fact, I can write it as n cubed minus 1 multiplied by some factors, right? So that means that this is divisible by n cubed minus 1. Okay. So let me erase this. n to the power. 2013 minus 1 is divisible by n cubed minus 1. n cubed minus 1 further is divisible by n squared plus n plus 1. So that means that n squared plus n plus 1 divides the 2013 minus 1. Okay. But the question say n squared plus n plus 1 divides n 2013 plus 61. So what does that mean? Notice that this can be written as n 2013 minus 1 plus 62, right? This divides this. But I also know that this divides this. Okay? So that means that n squared plus n plus 1 need to divide, need to divide 62. Okay? So you can check, right? This the discriminant is negative, so it's, this value must be positive, alright? So just need to check that n squared plus n plus 1 is the positive factor of 62. Positive factor of 62, you can have 1, which correspondingly 62, 2 correspondingly 31. So four possible positive factor of 62. Quadratic equation, you can solve one by one here. So n is equal, if n squared plus n plus 1 is equal to 1, that means that your n is either 0 or negative 1. This is just solving quadratic equation, okay? I leave that up to you. n squared plus n plus 1 is equal to 2. In this case, no integer solution. Okay, no integer solution. If n squared plus n plus 1 is equal to 31, this quadratic you can solve, n is either 6 or negative 5. If n squared plus n plus 1 is equal to 62, again you can solve, this has no integer solution. So that means that the possible value of n is 0, negative 1, 6 and negative 5. The question asks for the sum of the square. All right? So the sum of the squares of this number is 0 square is still a 0, 1, negative 1 square is a 1, 6 square is a 36, minus 5 square is a 25. 
add these numbers together, you will get 62. Okay. So the answer will be 62. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.